Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Dewey. And uh, I'm drunk. No, I'm <laughs> Already? Nah. No, I'm Matthew. Maybe yes. and, and we are Socially Awkward. Welcome back, everybody. It has been a little while. We, we took a couple it's of weeks off for the, for the holidays. 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 No, it's a new year. Uh, uh, that's what I should have yeah, played. Uh, should have played that. Celebrate 2016. It is. New year. 2016. Holy crap. 2015 went really damn fast. You say that every year. I do. But it did. It really did. I agree. Right now, stop the podcast, kids. Effect. Go back and listen to the old ones. And Eric, I guarantee you, I'll bet Eric will bet you $50. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. What? Yes. Yeah, sh- mm-hmm. And uh, will be. you <laughs> will bet. You will bet. Oh, stop it with the mind tricks. Damn mm-hmm. it. All right, Ray. Let's move on. Anyways. Um yeah, so it is 2016. This is the first episode of Socially Awkward in yes. the new year. Boom. Um, we made so, it, kids. We didn't get canceled from Fox. <laughs> yeah, right? Thankfully. They tried. They sent me a letter, and I was like, uh, you don't own us. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we were trying to cancel you anyway. I know. We tried to cancel we're, we're, podcast. We're like, look, we're waiting for Disney to buy us. And yeah. Disney's like, fuck you, we got Star Wars money. <laughs> Disney, Disney's like, we spent it all on Star Wars. We're, we're broke until we start making some money back. Which, I, I mean, think they whoops. Did. Well, how much did they... Oh, shit, just got notification on my phone. Yeah. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. That last ticket that just got sold put, put us into the green again. Um, no, how much money has it made now? It's, it's over the money. It's, it's over the billion a and a half mark, right? Yeah, didn't it be Avatar? 
Yeah, it already yeah, beat just, Avatar. It just beat Avatar. Um, I think on In Saturday of last week was when it crossed Was it Saturday of last week? I thought it, I wonder, I thought I thought it was, it was earlier last this week. Weekend. Uh, Maybe it was earlier this week. Um, but then, uh, how much did they actually? Disney paid like four billion or something. Yeah, they like paid that four for billion. The for Star it. Wars. So they still have. Now, granted, there's also toys, and you know we don't have all the numbers on all the other things. I mean, the the Star Wars branded oranges, for example, we have no idea how much they're pulling in from those. A things. shit ton, apparently. <laughs> oranges. The BB-8 oranges. Oranges are, are huge. a big deal right now. Um, they're round. Like yeah, BB-8. they're like, oh wait, check these out. I was gonna buy these oranges. They were cute because they said cute right on them, but. These ones say Star Wars, so I'm buying the Star Wars oranges. I don't care if they're five dollars more. I want to eat BB-8. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I just noticed that the Star Wars sticker is literally over top of the label for the the other brand. They're, they're saying things, but they cost five dollars more because it has Star Wars on the label that Hell I'm yeah. gonna throw away. Mm. Well, <laughs> sometimes you will you buy, just you will buy these oranges. Damn yeah, right, I'm, I already did. I, I'm I, I'm <laughs> not mad at Disney for doing what they have to do to recoup their money because it got us a new Star Wars. Hey, props to you so, for buying oranges in the I'm first okay with place. That. <laughs> right? Oranges are healthy. Fuck yeah, they are. Um, I'm just taking a quick look to see if it has updated uh, updated numbers. Some numbers, some stats. Yeah, yeah. What do we got? Give Box us the stats. Oh, I always uh, love these oh, things. It's uh, already estimated at two billion. I like I like how we're just talking about Star Wars, all the money you made, and of course, and someone always has to post one of these kind of stories. They're like, Star Wars: The Force Awakening is great, but it's far from perfect. Oh jeez. Shut up. There was a guy from the Huffington Post. We get Post it. We get it. Who posted two? blog post two the first one was 40 major plot holes i found in star wars the force awakens and i skimmed through and i'm like none of these are plot holes these are things that you evidently just didn't understand while you watched the movie why do they have lightsabers like seriously one of them was was like how did how did poe survive that crash i'm not trying to yeah we didn't say no spoilers but you can see that in the trailer. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was in the trailer. Anyway, but they, they asked him, like, how did he survive that crash? It's like, um, were you not watching the same movie I was? Did you think only one of the seats in that TIE fighter had an ejector seat? Is that how they build them? They're like, okay, whoever's sitting in this seat, they got lucky. Are you yeah, the, <laughs> but then they also talk about it later on the exactly. movie. Exactly. No, they're like this. They're like, are you the gunner? Yeah. All right, you'll be fine when a crash happens. What about the pilot? Yeah, those are yeah, easy to make. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the pilot. <laughs> we, we've cloned those things all the time. Uh, we've got 20 of them in the back. Yeah, yeah. And then he Some put out a follow-up. He put out a follow-up. 20 more plot holes uh, this that he found. Needs to just and that one I careful. actually replied to. Because somebody had posted it in one of the groups I'm in uh, on Facebook. And I was like looking at it. I'm like, all right, right, let's. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to take a look at this guy's 20 supposed plot holes. And there was only one of them that was even a somewhat legitimate question. It was one of the same questions that I brought up actually when we did our force awakens episode which you can go back on uh, itunes or stitcher or spreaker and check that out if you've seen the movie don't don't listen to that episode if you haven't seen the movie because we do spoil it um but yeah it was one of the few things i brought up and even that was just more of a minor like uh it made a cool scene so i'm gonna allow it but it does bring a question everything else was literally stuff that he didn't watch the movie like one of his questions was why why does the star killer planet have to wait until nighttime to fire because it says that they're in danger when it gets dark. I'm like, dude, seriously? <laughs> wow. Did you like you? Did you like watch this is movie this some, while you were like? And the sad part is this guy doing something got, else. This guy got paid. Tweeting. This guy got paid yeah, for doing this. Guy this guy got paid to write these damn. Articles. I wish I could do that. Like, I would oh. totally make up your shit all the time. Why wasn't Yoda in the Force Awakening? I mean, he was in the last six movies but Yoda it wasn't everyone's like did you did you not watch the the, the return of the jedi <laughs> no i just kind of skipped through it the, one of uh, one of his questions man. one of his questions in the original 40 plot holes was why do they mention the knights of ren but we don't ever see them like, are you fucking kidding me with even the damn flashback <laughs> exactly it's like well, uh who did you think those six guys were man. <laughs> This is why. No, these are the knights. Like, uh, these are the knights the of Ren. These are my groupies. These are my groupies. Yeah. Kylo, I'm Kylo Ren, bitch. I'm Kylo Ren. Yeah. Kylo Ren. I got these my fly honeys that follow me all the place. I am the knights of Ren. Yeah. This is Sheila. She handles my coat. Uh huh. <laughs> I <I'd> so do. <laughs> Shit, man. And I'm Tracy Morgan. Get the fuck out Damn of here, it, Tracy. Tracy. Get, you, actually, Tracy. actually, I discovered a new impersonation. It's not a new impersonation. It's mm -hmm. an old impersonation, but I made him like angry. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite funny if you turn. Christopher Walken, Walken's into someone who just hates everything. I well, at least I found it hilarious. I don't know if other people did, but it was basically <laughs> like I was just driving in the car with somebody when I was on the way to the uh, to a New Year's Eve party. I was mm -hmm. literally just like, 
And then you got fucking fucking Nicolas Cage that just shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, I really. You know, Nicolas Cage, shut the fuck up. No one cares. You're fucking jerk. I fucking hate you. Fucking Nicolas Cage. How you doing, Eric? <laughs> You little let a little uh, Peter Griffin slip in there. I know, right? <laughs> I, I heard a little Peter. Um, it's crazy. It's weird. It's, fuck you. You know, <laughs> criticizing. Where's your impersonation of shit? Sorry I about that, eh? Oh, oh, Sweet. oh, fucking Canadian. That was dude. Michael Myers, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I get it. Fuck you. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. There you go. There's some Mike Myers. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, again. If you drink, uh, yeah. If you drink, yes. if you drink, which we're doing. No, um, Always. if you if you go to the movies, you watch the movie, you enjoy the movie. I feel like the movie did its job. Mm-hmm. Like everyone, stop bitching. Uh, the, this, whoever this person is is a complete and utter idiot. I will say this though: the dumbest thing I He's did got a PhD. see. Does he? Yeah, which I found hilarious because I'm oh, like, oh man! I, evidently, they didn't teach you how to actually pay attention. To maybe he's, just he's like he's a prof- he's an English professor. I'm like, maybe just doesn't know. How would to you internet? allow? I can imagine. <laughs> Does that imagine if internet? one of his students turned in a book Look, report? I could tell you anything about like, Pride Storch. and Prejudice, and like obviously didn't pay attention to anything that happened in the book. Like he'd be like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" Yeah. But yet he goes online and does that exact same thing to a movie. Maybe because he was visually watching it and not reading out of the book. But uh, he's one of those guys. But one of the dumbest things I did see yes. before we jump into how's everybody doing some of that. So Star Wars obviously made a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't get me wrong, Batman v Superman. I'm gonna see it. I'm excited. I'm like, okay, you know, a lot of things are people like this movie's gonna suck and everything like that. They spoiled the entire movie. Yada yada yada. They posted the dumbest thing I think they could have ever done to hurt their uh, entire I campaign. I I where it was all like, you think Star Wars made a lot of money? I'm like, look, you guys are gonna do well. You guys are probably going to make a shit ton of money. Not Star Wars money, mm-hmm. but a shit ton of money. Warner Brothers will be happy. Mm-hmm. They probably won't jizz themselves as much as they did with the Harry Potter series. We're like, oh, shit, we got money again, you know, yeah. kind of thing. It's not going to make that much money. I'm sorry, guys. Like, look, don't get me wrong. I'm excited. I'm probably see the film. I don't know if I'm going to see it twice. Mm-hmm. Actually, one of the movies I already know I'm probably going to see probably twice this coming year is going to be Deadpool. Uh, but DC, most likely, I'm probably going to see the movie once and be like, yeah, it was pretty good. I can't wait for the Justice League movie. Good for you guys. You finally got your shit together, hopefully, you know, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you're not going to, you're not going to make that Star Wars money. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. No, no, they're definitely not. But I did see that as well. I got a nice little chuckle out of it, but. Cause I, I was like, really? Is this a joke? Or are you guys serious? Dude, it's people just being memes and being all silly. They're just being a little silly, little goose. A little silly memes. <laughs> That's all they're doing. Yeah, there's not going to be another movie, I think, anytime in the near future that's going to come close to the oh, success of Star Wars. On this show. Um, who's that? Sorry, we were just talking about getting AZ Tony Stark oh, on the yeah, show, yeah, yeah. and then I'm yeah. like, let's get her on the show. Yeah, I uh, need a date more. I'm actually branching out my variety. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm a huge guy on the redheads and stuff like that, but I'm like, you know what? I was having this discussion with my sister on her show. I'm like, I haven't really dated like a blonde, like girly girl chick. I'm like, I'm not saying I have to marry her or anything like that, but I'm like, yeah, I should probably. Try my different variety, see what happens. Yeah, just have some fun, man. That's what I'm trying to do. Absolutely. But these fucking women <laughs> and their rules and regulations. Broads, huh? <laughs> fucking broads. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but anyways, yes, uh, before we dive into craziness of this show, uh, how was everyone's uh, New Year's? It was, uh, season? It was all right. Was I this- um, <clears throat> went up did the did the timeshare thing. Uh, which, because I didn't have any days off left, I, oh, I had a day and a half of vacation time left, so I wasn't able to spend the whole week up in Flagstaff like uh, like I wanted to. Uh, but it did enable me to come back down and watch Star Wars with you guys and record an episode, so mm-hmm. that was cool. That was cool. Um, That's right, we did do that. So I, that, was t- I was tired that episode. That was, I uh, got tired really fast. Yeah, but it was a it was a work night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it know? was. You know, so but it was still it was still fun. It was still yeah, worth it. we still had a good time. Um. But yeah, other than that, you know, it was, it was pretty chill for the most part. We had some some drama New Year's Day up at the timeshare. Some of the it was a long week for the kids up there. And yeah, yeah, there was definitely some drama New Year's Day. But uh, all in all, it, it didn't end up being too bad, and you know, we had a we had a decent time for the most part. Um, Ooh, drama so. ensued. Drama. It's like save the drama for your mama. <laughs> But get that shit, nah, <laughs> get that shit out here. Yeah. Other than that, no, it was, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Had a decent, decent Christmas. Uh, you know, got to see, uh, got to see my uncles and you know stuff like that. So yeah, absolutely. How about you, man? How was your Christmas and New Year's? Uh, Christmas was good. 
Uh, New Year's was good. We had a New Year's party at my place and uh, made a lot of food. Actually, I I, get, I was able to cook. Right. I'm, I'm not the best cook, but let me tell you what I helped make. And I say help because <laughs> Megan had, shake and bake, and I helped. No, because Megan had to show me how to make it first, and then I was able to do it. Okay, I'm a yeah, no. visual learner. So yeah, you should see what I had to show him in the bedroom. <laughs> I'll snap. Oh, touch my hand. Um, so we had bacon. We had a tater tot that was wrapped in cheddar cheese, which was wrapped in bacon, oh. dipped in brown sugar. Damn. Yeah, that was good. That does sound good. Um, we had. Tell me you put that in chocolate too, and then no. Oh, no. But that's what sparked it when you show me the the photo. Bacon. Of, okay. Yeah. Um, Matthew's like, I put it in chocolate, put it in my belly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Um. Then we had cream what? cheese wontons that we made. Oh, oh, I love those. We had... I might um, have to ask how you make those. Yeah, really easy. They're really, they're easy. really simple, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Did you put anything other than cream cheese in? Did you do like some chives or some garlic or anything like no, that? We just did See, now cheese. I'm not... Okay, sorry. I'm leaning towards yours now. What the fuck? Yeah, you can do well, it. It's, <laughs> very it's easy. a basic crab puff recipe is what it is. And some people put actual crab in there. Mm-hmm. Some people put the fake crab in there. And some people just skip the crab altogether and just do... You're talking about a guy who just finally cooked something in his crock pot for the first time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, back to you. We did uh, guacamole veggie rolls. Ooh, interesting. Uh, guacamole with onion and, and stuff like that. Um, and then we had just cheese and crackers, you know, sophisticated What'd shit. What you call me? Cheese and crackers. <laughs> uh, actually works cheese. On, actually he called wor- you cheese. Actually works you. on both levels because cheese, because uh, Mooney. The uh, moon yeah. made of cheese, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. silly. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. <laughs> Spinach artichoke I'll dip. I'm starting to believe that's Matthew's new word for the new year. What? That's silly. Uh, and then uh, like crescent rolls with um, pepperonis, mozzarella cheese. You wrap them up, then they're yeah. like little crescent roll pizzas. Ah, uh, cool. We did those. People came over. There. Okay, so there was one dude that came over. Um, he was a friend of somebody that was there. There. Okay, there's a there's a few people at this party I didn't know, which was which I'm starting to believe I should have gone to your party. So it was like it was cool. But I was also like, okay, there's like people that I don't know in my house, which is kind of odd. Awkward, yeah. Um, but I was drinking and having a good time, so I quickly became over it. And they're all cool except for one dude. Um, so this guy comes over. He doesn't drink. He doesn't eat like any of our food, and he doesn't talk to like anybody. He's just like an observer. He's just observing. He's just observing. And Ignore me. I try to interact with him, and it just was not working. Um, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the dude asks for lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> and That's why he wasn't partaking. He was like, I'd really love to have some of that, but it wouldn't taste right without lemonade. Oddly I'm enough, we had seeing, lemonade. I'm not seeing Ooh, any lemonade, creepy. though. So we gave him lemonade. But like... He was probably tweeting. Like you'll probably find tweets like at this weird party. <laughs> what, yeah, what if you don't just, understand what, what's going what on? There's someone, no fucking lemonade. What if people just <laughs> hired this gentleman I don't know to go to, to New Year's parties and he just live tweets? <laughs> that, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> and then somebody, you see, like an ad reply. Well, why don't you just ask them for some lemonade? He's like, all right, I'm gonna give that a try. All right, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try some funny. human interaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like we were playing games. Like you know, we were we were playing uh, uh, this game called uh, Telestrations, which is fun. It's like uh, it's like telephone, but at first, you get a keyword. You have to draw it. Okay. Then you pass it to the person next to you. They have to so look like at the dictionary dra- meets okay. telephone. Yeah, telephone. Yeah, yeah. Telestrations. Right. It's that fun. sounds fun. Um, it does. We're playing that. Megan did uh, trivia. So she had three games of trivia. And we gave prizes away, like gift cards and stuff. Um, he didn't want to play any of those games. We had a uh, fibbage in like on <laughs> Xbox Were the games and before stuff. the lemonade? He's, he's like sitting there going like... Lemonade was like in the middle. Oh. oh. But like the dude just... <laughs> I, I swear, he was just observed. <laughs> It was like the craziest thing to watch. Uh, you know what? Actually, Eric and I can relate to that at some point. We wasn't a party, but we did have a podcast where someone who was a guest on the show really didn't interact and was just kind of there. Yeah. It's the, awkward. This person was She just did not there. ask for lemonade, though. And it was a no burn day, and I didn't know that, and I did a, I did like a, a fire in the backyard. Did you get a problem? I didn't. But as, as I'm building it, people are like, you know, it's a no burn day, right? I'm like, you couldn't have fucking told me that before... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, wait, I don't wait. speak English. No one <laughs> said any of that like while you were about to like. No, it, it was like, are, are you, okay, really? That's, I mean, we did it anyways. I was like, I'll risk it. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing. So Phoenix always does no burn days on Christmas and fucking New Year's yeah. and all the major times when you want to have a yeah, fire. Yeah, when you want to have a fire. Well, it, it's Stupid because people are shit. also setting out fireworks and shit. So it's I like, get it. And you it's, get the, you get the shit in the air. and yeah. yeah oh, um, 
before we jump more into your story, I have a question about the fireworks and stuff like that. Your dogs, because you guys have dogs, yes. did they flip out with the fireworks? Yeah, my okay. dog's petrified. One of our dogs did. Okay. We've got four, and only one of them freaked out. We, we put her in her crate. And okay. It was pretty much it. Yeah. But yeah, the other ones were pretty chill about it. No, no, I just noticed, because I know Aaron's dog gets freaked out. Gracie mm-hmm. gets, like, totally, but she starts eating, like, random shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Embry just, she has a certain place on the couch where she goes, and that's, like, her safe like, spot. spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she goes there, and, like, she'll, like, start, she'll shake. Um, she doesn't like pee or anything like that. She's just like, oh I shit, heard, I know what it is. Like, I heard I hear if it. you give them half like a Benadryl, it calms them down. Oh yeah, you can give them Benadryl. I, believe me, I we <laughs> give my dog drugs. Like, oh yeah, I was about to say oh, well, nothing that will compli- that's complicated or anything like that's that. Like, that's like shit, just do this line. Yeah, but you know, yeah. And the guy we, comes up, like, is that a line my dog of Benadryl. lemonade? <laughs> Yo, how how can I get the dog to inhale off of this? Bong, I, I, mean, I can't. I she's, she's just doing. not figuring it out. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> talking about cocaine. What the fuck's wrong with you? But uh, no, yeah, New Year's <laughs> don't give anyone cocaine to calm down. What the hell? I do <laughs> all the time. New Year's was good. This week fucking sucked. Yeah, this heard. week sucked so much. So like much. I didn't even have a full week back because I, I took my I took Monday off mm. and still I was just like, oh, fuck my life. Yeah, man. I had I had two four day weekends in a row, and this week. And it was just long, and everybody was just very rude, rude people this week. Yeah, with uh, especially with you, because you work in a you know in the area where people are constantly complaining about stuff. Mm. So normally I could take it. This week got a very short fuse. But uh, how about you, beer. Steve? Yeah, uh, my New Year's was good. Uh, I was invited to three parties, went to one. Mm. I should have gone to yours after mm. hearing about it. Cause... Just because I'm in your presence doesn't mean you have to say. No, it. no, no. I seriously should have gone to you. No, think... seriously, just because I'm in your no, presence. No, honestly, doesn't... I think the one reason why I went to the one, <laughs> the reason why I went to the one, because was 11 minutes away from me. Oh, yeah, solid. So I was like, okay. And then Perfect, after yeah. leaving that, I did realized... you drive or did you Uber? I drove. That's fine. I didn't. I oh, we so... got to talk about the Uber situation on New Year's. Oh, sure. Oh, is there a... Oh, yeah. oh, there's some drama. There's some drama. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. I was good. No, I basically, I got to the party. I had a few drinks. And then by the time I was like, all right, I'm going to be leaving here about like 1, 1 1.30. It's about 12. I'm going to stop drinking. No. Let me phrase that. Because <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't give you enough time to sober up. And I'm like, I know I was sober <laughs> when I left the party. Yeah. Uh, no, I probably stopped drinking about 9. 9 or 10. Oh, wow. I yeah. think I had a that little sip of champagne when the champagne finally got released, which I kind of got angry with the people with the champagne. They didn't chill it at all. Oh, no? So it was all warm. Oh. It Ew. tastes like ass. Yeah. But the, the, the most exciting part about Ew. that party, yeah. the most Ew. exciting part about that party is I came in from outside yeah. and everybody's sitting at the table. Now, this is the craziest game of Monopoly I've ever seen in my entire life, meaning it was still going on. Like, no one flipped out yet. No one got screwed up. Like, like, table. I was expecting a table to get flipped. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, feelings to get hurt, uh, someone yelling at their grandma, fuck you, grandma, mm-hmm. you cannot land on my avenue, and you know all that kind of shit. But it was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one, like the 1980 cartoon show version. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. this was fucking awesome. So I want to get... Actually, watching them play that, there was a... I, I, we'll talk about New Year's resolutions, but one of the New Year's resolutions, not really a resolution, but something I want to do, I want to do more game nights. Mm-hmm. So I want to either do either once a month or maybe you know twice a month or something like that, but people come over and we... I have a shit ton of board games or that people want to bring... Yeah, something like that. Or if people want to bring over board games or whatnot and just absolutely. fucking do shit. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So awesome. I think that'd be kind I of love fun. Games. But we yeah, other games than that, it was yeah. it was okay. Um, I'm guarantee people actually other if they weren't me, they probably had a great time mm. at this party. That's why I probably should have gone to Matthews. Okay. Oh, we had a photo booth too. Oh, oh fuck! I should have gone to Matthews. <laughs> I would have come, but I was not in. No, the, yeah, uh, I know. I was in flex, so. No, like no, Megan, Megan made... did a really good job. This was like Megan. It was a Megan party, you know, so she did put a lot of time and effort into yeah. it. And yeah, she did let's a good just job say Steve made bad decisions. <laughs> On New Year's? Yeah. Okay. Not like, no, not even like it ended like, ooh, oh, you got some. No, it didn't even end like that. Mm. I basically slept on my couch. Oh. Yeah, it was bad decision Steve night, so I got to rectify that shit. So next time Matthew's having parties, I'm going to Matthew's house. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can get lemonade. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'll have. You lemonade. know, there'll be lemonade. Uh, yeah. there. Other than that, yeah, it was pretty good. And then, yeah, so coming back to work make like, sure again, there. only had a four-day week, but still, I was just like, ah, at least I'm doing good at work. At least they're happy. Um, Eric, you, what did you, what did, because uh, I want to, I want to know about your New Year's, and then I didn't even know about this Uber situation shit. Well, the so. the thing with Uber, have have you ever actually done? Have you I've ever never taken done an Uber. Uber? Matt, have you actually taken an Uber? Let me tell you something about Uber. <laughs> Oh, I snap. fucking love Uber, okay. and I love Lyft. 
Okay. I want to be an Uber driver or a Lyft driver very, very badly. All right. What's stopping you? Um, what's stopping me is I'm not drunk when I think about it. Because when I, <laughs> I take Ubers or Lyfts when I'm drunk, and I always talk to the drivers, and I have a blast. And my I say the same thing every time. You can ask Megan or whoever we ride with. <laughs> She's like, oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Again. How did you get into it? How long you been doing it? Tell me about your story. Oh, I really want to do it too. Oh, you can give me a coupon code that if I sign up, you get stuff back. I have so many of those fucking coupon <laughs> codes. You're going you're gonna to have to like line them up and like do some three card money yeah. to like decide who you're going to give your credit to. Yeah. I just uh, no, yeah. I, I definitely could do it. I, I, I could it. sign up at any time. I just I don't because I, would, I always talk about it when I'm intoxicated. I would die laughing if there's an Uber driver right now who has his phone on that's just driving around tonight picking people up. It's all like oh, I like podcasts. This is interesting. I know this fucking guy. <laughs> he seriously has it. No wonder I haven't gotten shit back. <laughs> yeah, but uh, go ahead, Eric. Sorry. Oh no, I was I was just gonna say. Okay, so yeah, you, no, you I'm are never, familiar with how yeah, Uber works. I am familiar how it works. I just never have used it. Are you familiar with surge pricing? <laughs> yes. Uh, no. no. Absolutely. Okay. So when they have extra busy nights, uh -huh. whether it's because of a specific event or whether it just happens to be busy, they put surge pricing in effect, where the actual cost of the ride multiplies by a certain amount. Oh, okay. And that. The idea is to incentivize drivers who aren't out on the road yet to be like, oh, hey, check it out. I can make double what I normally make if I go right now. Uh, so they get on the road, and they, that way they get more drivers out on the road. Mm -hmm. For New yeah. Year's this year, the surge pricing was anywhere from six to nine times <laughs> the normal pricing. <laughs> and so there were a lot of people who paid two, three, four hundred dollars for rides that normally would have cost them twenty or forty dollars. Yeah. Uh. And people were bitching about it even though here's the thing about it though. In order to get an Uber ride, you have to go into the app, you have to go clear Okay. Surge pricing, nine point eight times normal price. Yep. Do you accept? Yes. yes. Then it pops up a thing saying Are you sure what Are is you... the surge price multiplier right now? Nine point you have to type in the actual number confirming that you confirming. saw it it's that the, you, are you know sure? it. Okay. The, are you sure? That's the confirming. Right <laughs> uh, Eric, uh, Eric, I'm going to stop you right there with this because uh, I totally agree with you right there. <laughs> I totally go, yes, I can see where you could go, okay, I'm going to pay this price. We have this thing on our website. There's this thing called Prefer Access. You have to click on it if you want to be you know, first in line, don't have to worry about lines, all these kind of benefits. You pay an extra whatever certain amount of yeah. price. Right. You literally have to click on that four times, and it asks you, do, are you sure you want this? And then we still get things coming back going, I did not pay for this. I did not get this. I'm like, okay, when I order anything offline or order anything, you usually check out the price because if you're ordering offline, you're like, oh, this is a great deal. I'm going to buy it right now. Let me check the price. Oh, everything adds up. That's just shipping and handling. Everything's great. I never like get to the end of my cart and just go, okay. And then when I finally get the receipt, go, what the fuck is this? You know? So, yeah. I, you know what? Fuck those people because they're dumb. <laughs> and hey, Uber, you're well, fine. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like they make it, and I've seen the screen. Like I haven't used it myself, but I've seen the screen. It's literally half of your phone screen says 9.8 is the multiplier. Like, do you like? It's not do like accept, hidden. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like fine print. And there's still people bitching about people trying to go to the news. Like I was charged so much for this ride. That's blah, blah, when, blah. It's like hey, you Uber, were told how much you have it was to understand cost. that it's going to be all the major things. Christmas Eve, yeah. mm -hmm. Christmas Day. Yep. You know, it's all. These are also people who are bitching Saint who got Patrick's picked Day. up Halloween. within five minutes or ten minutes mm -hmm. of sending the app. Try to do that with a cab on New Year's Eve. I will say Try this, to call though, a cab and find I out how long the, you're going to wait. I think the light rail did the smartest thing this year. It was free. free. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, genius. They did. Yeah, of course. And props to the state because, of Arizona or the city of Phoenix for allowing that to happen. Actually, yeah. and who? What, uh, Beer actually sponsored it. Hmm? Uh, 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 what's beer? I, th I want to say Budweiser or yeah, I think Anhe it was Anheuser Busch. Yeah, Anheuser Busch. I think sponsored that oh, for cool. the yeah. like. And to me, I go because look, if you're that age, you're gonna go out, you're gonna drink, you're gonna have fun and stuff like that. And yeah, guess what? No one wants to get pulled over. Nobody wants to drive drunk. Nobody wants to kill anybody or get into accidents. I'm like, you're trying to have just fun and do what you need to do and stuff like that. Like having something like that to be like, oh, I could just do this and then like literally, I probably could have gone to Mill. Uh, taking that around and then be like, oh, I'm just going to go to the like Y drop off from there. And then I probably could have gotten the orbit bus back to here and walk back. I would have been fine kind mm -hmm. of thing. Like I'm like, yeah, I would have mapped that out and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's I just stupid people are stupid. Yeah. That's it, it was just, it's just crazy to me that so many people are like after the fact, like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I got charged. I'm like 
and nobody's li- like they're going to the news and the news is like oh they they chart and then they're like looking at it and they're like oh but you know you really did agree that's to why everything I, and it's not like this, this was new it was not just like no introduced this not year at all. yeah you know this has been around <laughs> that, for quite a while this is this is, a this thing. is <laughs> why i think the letter that i've been trying to create at work um to send out to people when they do stupid stuff is basically just called like uh, the yeah this letter is uh thanks to matthew because i've been using this a lot now uh, is the uh, you dumb fucked up letter. It basically tells you you dumb fucked up and boom. You done fucked up. Thank you. Uh, and I've been trying to petition this at work along with my madman Fridays, but apparently drinking and smoking in the office isn't isn't work efficient or something. But you think working for an airline, that would be like right up there. That's what I thought. I was like, this was kind of created back in the time. Yes, but yeah. come on. It's 2016 now. Everybody's health conscious. I could understand the no smoking because that affects the people around you. Like Actually, make a lounge not or whatever, really. But the drinking? Second man and smoke, it was just made up by fucking fascists. Uh, sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet kilt lifter. Yes, we got to get that kilt yeah, lifter actually, in before I, the I was uh, Actually, this is, what, this is actually another reason why I bought kilt lifter. Uh, not only was it the only good beer I saw at the Circle K when I went there, but um, I kind of came up with an idea of going like, you know what? Why don't we, why don't we every so often get kilt lifter? And see like where it rates like throughout the year right now. If that's going to be the case of, see if it, see if we it, notice if it, it starts yeah, to go downhill. It seems honestly, to go honestly, downhill. you guys, I don't think it's going to change at all. I think this whole deal is just distribution for getting it further, bringing it over to California and Denver and things like that. I, it's going to be more more distributed throughout the the Southwest, if not the nation, as far as the the. The integrity of the product, I don't know if we're going to see that big of a difference. No, probably not. But the thing I thought was the funniest was I think last year during the Super Bowl mm-hmm. is uh, Budweiser commercials of that were making fun of all the craft beer. What was it? And yeah, they had a couple of commercials where they're making, like, poking fun at craft beer, going, like, we've never done craft beer, blah, blah, you know, kind of bullshit. Was it specific whatever. to Budweiser or was it Anheuser? It was Anheuser. probably Anheuser, anything that was owned by them at I that know, point, I, you know, so kind of I shit. I can't, I guess, that's but, really, um, trying to, like, justify. Like, but I was, I just thought that was funny that, like, then a year later, you're like, oh, we're getting our asses kicked. We need to do something. Hmm. Starting that craft brew division. Well, we'll see. I mean, I'm kind of hoping it kind of stays the same, and I kind of hope sure, that it only goes, like you said, like, they're just trying to get. W- uh, widespread it. widespread the market widespread panic that shit but who knows yeah, yeah. but then again anytime to anything see, out of, see if it was well I'll put it this way pricing right now but let's it no. appear to be uh, it, every now Friday and then nights but every now and then really it might be Friday. later on this evening well let's put it this yeah. way anheuser Bush buys you know four peaks and yeah. everyone flips out and stuff like that yeah you know another company did that twice and we have been just shut up and take my money now uh, Disney bought Marvel <laughs> and then they bought Star Wars mm-hmm. so uh, but, Here's the thing, though. Disney doesn't have a history of putting out water, putting out watered down shit as their main product. Disney has a history of putting out good quality product for their consumers. I beg to differ. Have you seen half of their fucking straight to video movies? No, because it's garbage. fucking straight to video, and I'm not pure garbage or nine. So, <clears throat> but their customer service is second to none in their parks. Everything that I do ah, consume you're right, Eric. from That's Disney. That's what we do. Has been fantastic. I'm a big fan of the company Disney. Yeah, no, and I am too. Big they've, fan of it. They've no. got the money to back oh, it up. Oh man, I love Disney. Anheuser Busch. No, I would hand, love to work for Disney because they've I given a shit ton of Bud voices. Light. Mm. Literally, they can pay me half the cost hey, of paying. Don't right forget now for Bud Light with us. lime. Don't forget Bud Light with lime. Oh yeah, I gotta get me a butterita or whatever the fuck. Don't it's you dare bring up that <laughs> chilada shit. <laughs> oh yeah, though it's the clamato. Clam- yeah, clamato. Chlamydia? Yeah, they're like no, no, how no, can we make no. Bud Light taste worse? Fucking record stra- scratch. Put tomato right juice there, in Steve. it. Put clams no. in it. Yeah. Who's, who said that in a boardroom? Fucking. I, was like, I love Put clams. some clams in the Bud Light. Yes. And somebody's like, yes, with oh, some yeah. tomato juice. Yeah, clams in the Bud Light. Actually, I don't like, like that. My uncle is a big fan of it. And drinks really? that. Yeah. He, he like. Yeah, man, he'll get down on that. I, me, not so much. I I'm like clams. I had clam person. chowder earlier this week. Yeah, clam oh, chowder. Shout out to clam it. chowder. Yeah, fuck yeah. New, wait, shout out, yeah. New England shout or out. Boston shout style? Fucking chowder. New England. Fuck your hand. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to touch your hand. All right. I've never had that Boston red shit. Yeah, what? Get out of here. Disgusting. Get out of here. <laughs> Go back to Boston. Huh? <laughs> Huh, Aaron? You end up. Am I Boston at all right now? No. <laughs> you sound fucking retarded. Huh, Aaron? How about you go back to your side of the, the tracks there, buddy? Pocket con, Havid Yard. I don't know how to do it. 
This are you, is really yeah, insulting right both, now, and both, I apologize. Both of you are fucking retarded. You, you did slip into a little bit of JFK there, though. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yo, stop. <laughs> yeah, it's not said, what yeah, you stop. can do for your country, but how many women you can have sex with. Mm. That's what I did. I had sex with Marilyn Monroe. That's right, the ghost. Who are you? JFK. Oh, oh, you're JFK? <laughs> What's up, man? That, ouch. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> How are you? I am good. <laughs> oh, well, except for my brains being on the outside. <laughs> I am good. I am fantastic. <clears throat> I like having sex with hookers. Guys, I went to like fucking three football sporting events. I know. Your fucking Facebook weekend. blew up, and I was like, I didn't know Matthew liked sports. And let. <laughs> Oh, you did Yeah. Yeah. Me. I just got on this sports game. He really did. Guys, let me tell you something. My body died. <laughs> My, like Sunday night when oh. we got home. I'm like, oh. I instantly like got sick. Oh. Instantly. Yeah, I got, I got the crud this weekend too. Like, man. It's, it, for me, it actually started last Wednesday. Like oh, right yeah. when I went back up to Flagstaff for the Was your body all achy and stuff? I had the aches, I had the pains. I luckily, like, I had the whole congestion thing and the sinus pain and pressure. Mm-hmm. I got so lucky that it didn't get into my chest. Like, nice. it stayed in my head. Yeah. Um, but it ended up, like, by Monday, I was feeling better, except I still had the sinus thing. I had to go to the doctor on Tuesday to get uh, antibiotics because I had a sinus infection. Shit, man. I was like, motherfucker. Yeah, Sunday night, as soon as we got home, um, body instantly got achy. I had a fever. Um yeah, and like I've just started feeling better like nice. Wednesday. Well, that's good. So I think what it, whatever it was was like a 24 hour bug, and then I just had the reoccurrence after or yeah. the, the residual yeah, start yeah. stuff. But now I'm feeling good. But uh, yeah, man, fucking Fiesta Bowl, which was uh, Ohio State versus uh, Notre Dame. Yeah. I had that on Friday. Uh, Cactus Bowl, which was uh, ASU versus uh, West Virginia, which was at Chase Field. Yeah. It was very interesting. Yeah, I've never I've never seen a football game there, but I have seen it set up for football. Yeah. I actually, they had it set up for one of the bowl games, and we went to TGI Fridays there mm. at the park yeah. like the day after, and they hadn't taken it down yet, so it was really weird because the stadium was empty. We're just up in the restaurant, like looking down at like this football field inside yeah. Chase Field. It was and like then, weird. Uh, Sunday, I went to the Cardinal Seahawks game. So how'd they do? Not well. Cardinals but lost. you know what? It doesn't matter. There's only lost. the third loss of the year, so and fuck. we already made the playoffs and everything okay, like you're that. Talking so to a guy, it was, a, it was a throwaway game for us, but we lost by 30. You're talking so. to a guy who didn't touch his entire <laughs> lineup. So, yeah. well, I think, hey, didn't I? But that oh. last game, I think I won against you, though. No, you I? did. Yeah. So what up? By I the way, congrats, my lineup either. <laughs> congrats to Johnny. Shout out yes. to Johnny for winning. Yes. And uh, I've already talked to him. He's got a twenty-five dollar uh, Amazon gift card coming his way. So uh, I would have, I would have his... tried harder if I didn't know there was someone. On it. I'm just kidding. And I'm we, kidding. you knew about that. Yeah, we, we talked. About it. That was the first thing we dropped him when mm-hmm. we did this, and then I just I'm, I, know, I forgot. This is did what I happens. Did last, or did anybody come tied? This with is what happens last. when you don't have cable. Like all of a sudden, I just be gaming on a Sunday, and then my phone goes off. Like, oh, there's a game going. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, that's right. Oh man. Some of the wins you got were complete and utter bullshit. Let me tell you. I that don't know. I you say it's bullshit. I say it's the force. Um, oh yeah, I'm sure it's the force. Yeah. Oh, you, so it doesn't go you by take that force to shove it up your ass. It doesn't go by win. So it doesn't go by win loss percentage. I'm sorry. What? It, it does not go by win loss straight up. It no takes it's... other things into consideration. Because I'm like, I definitely I got the least amount of wins. I only won three games. Went three and ten. Which is Ooh. yikes! Um, For some reason, I thought you did. I a think lot my better. favorite. <laughs> I think my favorite part about this entire. Season but I'm somehow all... above him, and he went six and seven. Oh, from win lo- win loss percentage. Yeah. Total, well, that's. I guess that's total amount scored within your wins. Oh, all right. So the three games that you won, you you, you scored, scored pretty more, well, evidently. You scored more points. Damn, interesting. Well, and then, and then Aaron beat us both at four and nine, and then Raven. Then uh, Megan and Ziggy came in third, mm-hmm. and then Mr. Man here in number two. Yeah, Johnny. Uh, I had I won the second game, but overall points value, uh, he beat me, so he came in first. But man, let me tell you, it was hey, it was fun. It was, it was. There was uh, some competitiveness and things like that. I'll definitely suggest that we do it again next season. Yeah, I think we should probably we'll... try to get more of our. Yeah, try to get more participation. 
because when we brought it up, like, I know everybody saw the the post that I put in our group and and all that stuff. I don't know if people were just like, oh, I don't really know. There were a couple Football, of people who I like, really thought would, and they were like, oh, and I'm already in like 15 leagues this year, and I'm not doing another one. I was like, oh, well, come on, guys. Now, well, you know, we'll people on the way. network know that we do it, so maybe well, we'll put it this way. maybe next year when football try to help season, out. Next year when football season comes up and, yeah. we, and we do this uh, football fantasy, if you don't participate and you're part of the network, you're fired. <laughs> it's mandatory participation <laughs> in the fantasy football. No, I mean, we had a really, good... <laughs> really, how many shows have we actually canceled I mean, besides we had... all of mine? Um, <laughs> we've uh we had eight people in the league i would have preferred 10 um so i mean we may do with what we had and we had a good time so i think I maybe that'll entice people to join i think natalie wanted to join but mm -hmm. i think she just forgot about it because uh, then be. my sister was all like oh you can be on my thing or whatnot and that was the thing i was so worried about my sister because like my sister knows her shit when it comes to football because she actually like picked a team when she was living in Seattle, she yeah. stuck with it. She knows all the stats. She knows all the stuff. So literally when she joined this league, it was like, okay, everyone watch out for my sister. Cause I'm like, I'm thinking everyone thinking like, oh, she doesn't know that much or whatnot. But I'm like, I'm thinking like, she's going to know some shit. And she fucking did horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she did yeah. worse than me. <laughs> we love you, Aaron, but uh, you didn't, you didn't do too oh, good. Oh, she doesn't care. She doesn't listen to shit. <laughs> Oh man, but no, I. I but yeah, that was, I was blown away by that. I was all like, Aaron, and then she was literally like, "Yeah, my whole team is shit." <laughs> I'm all like, "Okay, man." I just... I think the thing that I only lucked out on was the thing that did the automatic picking for me, and then the only problem was is I didn't know how to trade stuff. I didn't know how to move things around. I didn't know how to work the fucking app because it, literally I was trying to pick it myself and it wouldn't let me. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I just started auto picking shit. And the only <laughs> yeah. thing that I lucked out with was Tom Brady. And the only reason why that was is because I got him, and I was like, well, he's out for the season. And then the, literally the next day, it was all like, oh, he dropped off everything. He's going to play. And everyone's like, fuck. Yeah. yeah That's you'd... the only reason why I think I did as well as I did just because of that. He helped you out. You had some, you had some players with your auto pick that you snatched from other people that I know wanted them. Um, so, and it would, it also helped with the position that you were, you were ranked in the draft. So. so I think I think what I'm going to do before gearing up for next year is actually do some research, figure out how to work the app would be kind of nice, and mm -hmm. then do that kind of stuff. The app is not that hard to navigate. Uh, it was for me, so <laughs> it it was interesting. I um I went like Talking the first to a guy like, who five still doesn't weeks. even know how to customize his character on fucking Fallout for crying out loud. So. <laughs> I think I went like five <laughs> weeks <laughs> before I figured out how to get new players onto my team because the very first time. Yeah. I tried it in like week two. I was like, oh, I'm going to get the, like, I'm going to trade out this guy because he sucks. I'm going to get somebody else. And the person I got, I guess, was on waivers. Yeah. So I had to wait like 48 hours. And so I was like, this is bullshit. This is going to take, for, like, so I never tried again mm. until I realized, oh, there are people that are just available right now that I can yeah. just get. Yeah. And then and once I figured that out, then I was like, oh, okay. Also, once the waiver time period is done, then it's free game. Yeah. So. Yeah, that initial 24 to 48 hours you have to wait, depending on when you get on there. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but then, you know, it's anticipation to see who else is, because you don't know who else is thinking about getting that player. So if they got the waiver order in there before you did, then they get it, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, damn it, Steve, god dang it, auto-pick, <laughs> motherfucker.